what is a sixth sense? I am so excited to talk about this in today's video. A sixth sense has been rumored to be kind of a sense that people with disabilities obtain when one sense is dampened that kind of another sense comes into light. So I love this. I totally think this is a real thing and I'm excited to talk about it in my video today. Welcome, if you're new, my name is Emily. I created Deaf at Hearing as a way to increase awareness for the deaf and hard of hearing. I'm hard of hearing myself. I wear two hearing aids and I love them so, so, so much. My hearing loss is congenital, which means that it's genetic. So my parents had no idea that they had the combination of like being able to have a deaf child or a hard of hearing child and they had to. So my sister and I are both hard of hearing. She has a cochlear implant and a hearing aid and I wear two hearing aids. I hope you stick around to the end of this video because if you do, I'm going to share some of my experiences with what I think the sixth sense is. So as I stated, the sixth sense is typically seen to be just kind of this additional sense that people with disabilities have because that is dampened, then they have to compensate in other ways. So for example, for a hard of hearing person, we are more visual or for a blind person, they may be more in tune to sound and so forth. So there have been studies done on this sixth sense to validate it from like a scientific aspect because I could go on all day about what I think and what my experiences are, but it has been scientifically kind of shown that it is like, this is interesting. I, I, I'll just dive right into it. But essentially what it is, is studies have shown that if you are not using the certain part of your brain, so if I'm not using the hearing part of my brain, then that part of the brain will rewire itself to be more in tune with visual cues or the sense of touch and things like that. There is a term for this and it's called cross-modal reorganization. In fact, there was a study in the Journal of Neuroscience showing this very thing. And Christina Carnes and Mark Dow of the University of Oregon conducted this study. In this study, they wanted to see how early hearing loss affected the neuroplasticity of the deaf brain. So essentially what they did is they had an fMRI of deaf adults' brains. And they wanted to see how these deaf adults' brains functioned. And so they determined that we will deem brain function as increased blood flow. So when you're using a part of your brain, you have increased blood flow in that area. And so they were able to use different stimulations to stimulate different parts of the brain to see how their brains compared to hearing individual brains responded. They had a really interesting finding. They found that almost consistently within the deaf adults' brains that they responded to visual and touch sensory stimulation in their auditory processing part of their brain, also known as Heschel's gyrus. They noticed that the hearing people, when they had touch stimulation and visual stimulation, that that would be in the respective parts of the brain, the expected parts, where when they did the fMRI on the deaf individuals, they found increased blood flow for visual and touch sensory stimulations in the auditory processing parts of the hearing people's brains. So they have strong evidence to show that for the deaf adults, the brain had rewired their auditory processing portions of their brain to process visual and touch sensory stimulations. This is so interesting to me. So they do believe that the brain does compensate for that, that, you know, if you have a whole brain and you have sections for each sense, but one sense is not available, then all of a sudden more of your brain is being used for the remaining senses. And so a deaf person can be more apt to process sensory information when it comes to visual information and touch and even smell. I would say that I am definitely a person who reacts to smell. I feel like I smell things so strongly and I'm super sensitive to smell and I always have been. And I will say that when I was younger, my sisters would love to wear Bath and Body Works perfume 
perfume. I loathed it, mostly because of my asthma. I felt like I couldn't breathe, but the smell was also overwhelming. So I definitely think that I have smell. Smell's huge for me. And I can, I remember things based off of smell. Like when I smell a specific smell, I'm like, that smells like my grandma, <laughs> or that smells like my great grandma, or this smell reminds me of this day, or like memories are associated with smell for me. What about you? Do you associate memories with anything? If so, do you or do you not have a hearing loss? Do you have any tendencies for senses that maybe other people don't? I have to say that I've noticed in my sister that her sixth sense could be touch. Like she's super cuddly. She doesn't like to cuddle. She doesn't like to cuddle at all. I think she might be a little too sensitive to it, but she definitely like touch is a thing. She loves to walk barefoot. I think that it's the textures. I don't know what exactly it is, but there is an element there that I've noticed. And I've noticed also in myself that I'm very visually aware. I typically see things before I hear them, but I feel very, like I've definitely had times where I react before I hear things because I just feel like I need to, or I can feel that difference, or I won't hear Joel come into our home, but I can feel the pressure changes between the air in the rooms. And so isn't that interesting? Like feeling those pressure changes or paying attention to vibrations. Like I definitely feel sensitive to that because of my hearing loss. I honestly believe that if I was hearing, I probably wouldn't be that sensitive to those things or notice them. What about you? If you have a hearing loss, are you sensitive to something more so than other people? If so, I definitely want to hear in the comments below. And I wanna say, I do believe that this sixth sense goes beyond just our senses. I think that there are people and like hard of hearing people are definitely more compassionate. Like forgive me if I like offend anyone in saying this, but I feel like we are more adept to be compassionate to other people with disabilities because we understand that on a level that people without disabilities just like don't get. I really like that. I like being able to connect with people. Whenever I meet someone that's hard of hearing or deaf, I just feel like I have a instant connection that just can't be replaced otherwise. So there's a little bit about the sixth sense. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to making more great content for you. Have a great day. Bye.